Hello writers, I have a first Lion Friday video for you today. So what I've got is I've got two prompts to get your writing started here, okay? I know that sometimes as we're writing, as we're working through our pieces that it can be hard to just get going. And sometimes if you can just get started, then the writing will start coming and your creativity will kind of kick in and you'll start having something uh, that you can get down on paper. And of course, that's the start. Even if what you're getting down on paper isn't very high quality at the beginning, that's okay. Just go ahead and put those words down and that starts the ball rolling and moving in that right direction of getting some stories down. So the two pieces that I have here could be used in a variety of different ways. These could be used for nonfiction. So you could use these for a memoir type piece, a reflective piece of where you're looking back on life. You could also use these uh, to create a fictional piece. So you could do a short story, or you could even just capture a scene. It doesn't have to be a short story. It could just be a little snapshot of a scene. Um, you could do a little caricature with something like this. So it doesn't have to be a whole piece. It doesn't have to be a completed piece. It can just be a little, um, a little snapshot. Of course, if this works for you for poetry and you feel like you've got a, a, poet, a poem sitting there and you can use these prompts as a way of getting that started, certainly that's fine too. So whatever um, direction that these prompts take you, put pen to paper and start writing. It makes a big difference to just get in there and get that practice. And that's really the purpose of the first Line Friday videos is to just get you writing in the first place. Just get that, that process started. Because like I said, honestly, Getting started is, is usually the hard part. And once you get started, uh, the words will start flowing uh, a lot more easily than when you're not started. So uh, I'll give you the, the two that we have here for today. So the first one, who knew a Friday could start so well and end so badly? So this could be a great hook piece. You could use this at the beginning of say a personal essay of where you want to reflect back on an experience that occurred and think about that dual nature of how things start out really well and then they go really badly or the other direction too they can start out really badly and then turn around and end up going really well certainly we've all had experiences in life that have gone that way starting one way and going another way that's totally normal you can also change this up a little bit so the line again is, who knew a Friday could start so well and end so badly? So if you need to flip the good and the bad, certainly you're welcome to do that. You can also change the, the day if you don't want it to be Friday. It's really important that it's a Monday. You've got a character you're working with and you want to think about this idea of a day starting in one way and going in another. Certainly change the, that. Another thing you can do is you can add in a character here. Um, I don't reference any point of view. Uh, for this piece, but if you want to add in a character, add in a point of view, that's another thing that you could do here uh, to change this up and to move this in a direction that's going to work for you and to give you more practice for your particular piece that you're working on. So that's one. Who knew a Friday could start so well and end so badly? That's your first one there. Your second one is, I really thought he was joking. I like this piece. I like this prompt. I think that what this prompt does is it highlights the difficulty behind human communication. There is so much that goes into communicating from one person to another. We've got body language. We've got facial expressions. We've got um, time of day. We've got uh, clothing people are wearing. We've got uh, mood and tone. We've got the emotions that people are bringing to the communication in the first place. Um, and then we've got misinterpretation, which, oh my gosh, we're all guilty of me most especially, of just interpreting things wrong um, or overthinking things. I think I, I am probably at the top of the list of people who just spent a shocking amount of time overthinking things earlier in life, you know, assuming that people thought something bad when they really didn't, um, not at all. So I think that this is something that we do is that we overcomplicate human communication and that human communication is just really challenging. So this line here, I really thought he was joking. You could take that in any direction. You could certainly work with this in a reflective piece, a personal essay, a memoir type piece, 
um, a reflection of where you're looking back on a previous experience. You could also change out any of the words in there to make this work for a specific piece that you want to work on. So if you don't want this to be a first person point of view and you want to switch that up and make that um, about a particular character you're working with or you want to make a second person point of view or something like that, certainly that could work out really well. That's an easy change to make. Or you could also change the joking. So you could change that around to, um, I really thought he was serious or I really thought he was going to be on time or I really thought he was angry or whatever it is that you want to plunk in there. So if you feel like, you know what, if I change that word, um, it will move this prompt into a way that I can really use this with the writing that I'm working on right now. Say, for example, you're working on a memoir piece, perhaps you're collecting some personal stories and you want to um, continue moving forward with that. But this prompt doesn't work in that specific way with your piece. Go ahead and make that change. That's not a big deal. I really thought he was joking. But this can take you in any direction. You could work with this uh, from a fiction piece, of course, as I mentioned, from a nonfiction memoir type piece. Or if this moves in another direction for you, that's fine as well. So I hope that this gets you writing. I hope that this helps you to put pen to paper and to um, take another step forward in the work that you're doing. And uh, reach out if there's anything I can do to help. Otherwise, take care and good luck with your writing.